And here we go. I want to let you guys know that it has been overall very quiet the last couple of days. So, however, we've got some things to bring to you. However, it has been quiet from people that we normally get strong daily type intel from. In other words, uh, some of the sources that we that our sources talk to uh, have been remarkably quiet, and they've been sort of under what I would call a gag order. And this is something that we have had before from Iraq. This is something we've seen occasionally, but not to the extent that we've seen it yesterday and today. It's been a little bit uh, more. And therefore, I thought, boy, what do, we, what do we know? What do we know and what do we have that I can bring tonight on the call? And I do have some information, but overall, it's been sort of a light intel day. Let me put it that way. Now, here's what we, let's start with Iraq. We always tend to start with either China or Iraq and, and let you know kind of where we stand with, with Iraq right now. We talked uh, last time about the idea that the budget, which we all were looking for because the rate for the dinar is in the budget, uh, can be calculated in that, and that that <clears throat> budget was in the so-called digital version of the Gazette, uh, I believe, Saturday. It's been, it's been out. The printed version, however, has not been made out yet, hasn't been put out. We heard today it to be revealed tomorrow in the Gazette in Iraq. Now, that's Wednesday. Wednesday and Saturdays are the printed version days. And because Iraq is nine hours ahead of the East Coast with daylight savings time, uh, it's quite possible that that printed version is out even now at this time. I'm going to say it's probably going to be sometime tonight, whether it's between now and midnight or whatever, that that is known. Okay, I may find out about it after the call. I don't know. But I'm going to say that that is a good final thing that I don't know if it needs to happen for us to go, but I think it will happen tomorrow morning at rock time, which is about now. Okay? So that tells us, and then we also know from our Iraqi contacts the key cards, uh, the ones that I know about, uh, have been activated and show a nice rate in that account for the Iraqi dinar. Higher than, mm, well, we would just say we would call it a very good uh, screen rate. I asked my contacts, was this something we would call uh, an in-country rate? because it is on the key cards from Iraq. And he said, yes. So if it is in fact an, an in-country rate for Iraq, it's quite good. doesn't mean it's gonna be what we get. We should have better options than that. But let me say that it's highly, it's, it's a good rate, strong rate, and it's a, it would be a, a great rate even for exchange. Now, in addition to that, we know that redemption centers have been on standby status uh, for, mm, I know, for example, Friday, Saturday, not so much Sunday, uh, yesterday. We're still on standby status, meaning they are prepared for this to go at any time, any time now. Uh, it's cool to be on that status. We know that the uh, the... Uh, people that have been told to report to work at the redemption centers, the staffing, let's call it the staffing, is at full capacity for tomorrow through the
the end of the month, which is only four days, right? Tomorrow's 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, boom, end of the month, through Saturday, okay? Now, that's interesting. And I don't know when the public, so-called John Q public tier five is gonna start. It could be as early as Tuesday, which is the 2nd of April. I don't know that officially, but I've heard that. It may be true. I'm going to say that they do want the redemption centers to get going and pull the Zim in uh, in at as short a period of time as possible. Four days would probably do most of it for those that are paying attention. It would not get everybody that's been gifted because those guys in some cases are not keeping up with this like we are as part of tier four, the internet group. Okay. So we've got good timing based on that. Now you guys should know and maybe know already that China told us they were going to have their gold back yuan out and available on the 26th, which is yesterday. They did what they said they do. They do have a gold back yuan. We have people involved in the trading of that as a future. We have people involved in that as a uh, gold-backed bond, bond, and also involved in it as a petro yuan. Okay, so we know that even yesterday at uh, oh, it was around six o'clock or so my time that uh, transactions were taking place in new gold-backed yuan. Okay, so we got that. Now, did the other currencies around the world, did they come on board with the assets that back them? My understanding was they were going to come on and essentially make, make it to the screens by approximately, roughly was the actual word used, roughly 7 a.m. this morning. Okay, now, I can, I can tell you a lot of things that are happening. I can't tell you for sure if that did happen. I believe it happened based on the timing that I was given. But I'm going to say that what we do know is that the U.S. dollar, which we have as the USN, all right, is also asset-backed gold and silver and probably other assets, but primarily gold and silver-backed. And that, that we have literally quadrillions of new U.S. dollars, which we call USN, traveling, mo- making its way to country after country, continent after continent around the globe, now as we speak. This is the physical currency, okay, what we would call our money, okay? That money is going to take a couple of days to complete its movement from, I'm going to suggest it's from our treasury, to these various locations around the globe, country by country, continent by continent. Now, that money that's moving, does that have to complete before we get started? I don't believe so. We're talking a couple of days here to get all that money out. And that money is being held back from us, the public, uh, for right this minute, for right now. It's no big deal for us. We can use our, our FRNs right now for a little while longer until it does become public, until our new USNs uh, are brought out for us through our banks. It doesn't matter to us. A $100 FRN will spend just as well as a $100 USN when we get it. Okay. So that's coming. That's coming for us. And I don't know exactly when. My, my own opinion is that it'll probably come out here when the public starts uh, for exchanges. That's just something that I've, I've just got that in my, my mind. That that's what might, might happen. Um, so that is happening in major, major volumes. The word was quadrillions, and that would be of currency, not digital. Digital is going to be in the bazillions. We know that. It's almost like we can't even 
pronounce the, the words that would describe the amount of this whole transaction and all the zeros that are at the end of it that are, that are digitally available through our banks. Okay. And the redemption centers, of course. Uh, all right. Then you have activity taking place, uh, out West, which is very positive. A lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, communication between, uh, uh, attorneys and between attorneys and paymasters ready to get started. I think that's really good. We know, for example, that we talked last time, I believe, about the uh, farm claims having already been paid and uh, CMKX being paid. Well, now I hear today that even the fines and penalties that are related to the farm claims, in other words, that were tied to that because of late uh, payment by the banks, uh, those were actually paid today. So there is movement, guys. There is stuff happening behind the scenes, a lot of things happening behind the scenes that we're not quite seeing yet. Okay? We do believe the language for the uh, U.S. dollar being gold-backed or returning to the gold standard was in the uh, omnibus bill that was passed uh a few days ago and that that language that was put in there was put in there. And that's one reason that it was signed uh, by the president to have this uh, RV essentially take place uh, in the timing that they designed. We've heard from treasury sources, really positive things today about um, the money movement around the world, meaning our currency movement, um, possibly other currencies as well. It might not just be the U.S. Ed. It could be other currencies. It could be the, the, uh, uh, the Chinese yuan. It could be other SDR currencies, you know, for special drawing rights for that matter. But the point is there is movement. Things are happening. And I'm very excited by the fact that it's been relatively quiet, it's a very good sign when people that you're used to talking to or texting send you back something that says, um, it says um, something of the fact of wait, just wait with a smiley face or something very simple like that. <clears throat> where they're not really able to communicate. They're to being told to, to shut up. And that's happening a lot. Uh, as far as I can tell, we are in a really good window for this to roll out. One of our bank sources, and I'll end with this, one of our bank sources Monday uh, said that the next couple of days, and that would be, Tuesday and Wednesday, the next couple of days will be monumental. It's a great line. We can all imagine what that might mean. And I'm just going to say everything is very, very positive right now. Everything is pointing toward this going in our favor. And we are the favorite of God. And I just think everybody is in position to take advantage of what we have been chosen for. After all of these years, many of us have been involved in this. I believe we're about to see the blessing of God come into full fruition. And with that, I'll ask Pastor Stephen to come in and take us.